even when a journey is coming to an end, it has never truly ended. Clear skies, a breathtaking landscape, tiny brick houses and of course, the world's highest astronomical observatory. Han Lake, hands down, is the most serene and beautiful location we have been to during our entire expedition. Hanley behind was like leaving a true paradise in this enchanted valley. The road conditions ahead are going to put our metal to test. As the water level on the roads have gone up significantly and driving through these conditions is extremely challenging. We as a team must act quick if we have to make it to Somariri by the nightfall. This is the fight from here till here because this is a little broken. But once we get to the highway, then we can save time. And this is short way because it's only 85 kilometers. Where there is cooperation and spirit of brotherhood, any obstacle can be overcome, any problem can be solved, and any journey becomes a memorable one. The challenging terrain became easier and as we arrived at Somaruri just before the nightfall. Whatever the weather, whatever the conditions, we keep on rolling. As we began the last leg of our journey from Somereri to Manali, the weather gods made sure we had an adventurous one. Today is the toughest leg of our expedition because we have to uh, cover almost 450 kilometers. And it was a little tough also because everybody had to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and as you see the weather is really extreme today. The unpredictable nature of almost everything in this region is what attracts souls like us to venture out and explore themselves. Now we have been there exactly a week back and it feels so much different. Feels like we have not been on these roads at all. Can I say why Panchara is confirmed driver's side front? Isuzu service? Okay, Roger that. So uh, we just got a call uh, from our sweep car, uh, which says that the service car has got a puncture. So I think now uh, I'll have Surat, to turn Surat, back Surat. and uh, check the situation. Surat, Surat, Surat. Yeah, goes Ash. Getting really cold, and it's also snowing up there, as you can see. The conditions are really extreme.
we are Colombian cartel. <laughs> Colombian cartel, yes. <laughs> Finally, the sun came out just before we arrived at Sarchu. We snuck in some time to relax and have a quick snack break. What better than a hot cup of tea and Maggie? Ready and loaded for the long ride ahead, we started from Sarchu until... Right now, we are uh, stuck at a diversion near Sisu, where there was a major landslide. So now we have one 2x4 vehicle on board with us, so we are trying to figure out a buffer plan too, if in case that gets stuck. So how are we going to get that out? Other than that, it's late in the evening, you guys are really looking forward to getting to Manali as soon as possible. 6606. Thank you very much. It should take another 5-10 minutes. So hoping for best, the administration is at full pace and they are working really hard. And hopefully five, five, ten minutes, and we should uh, cross this uh, last light zone. Don't break the motion, don't break the motion, I repeat. Anyone feeling nervous, get to Forlo now. It's the last patch, so let's do it. I'm waiting for you at the tarmac. The amazing part about these journeys is that they take you to the unexpected. Our body was tired, but the mind was in nostalgia as we started the descent from Rotangla towards our final destination of this expedition, Manali. More than the stunning experience, we aim to ensure a safe ride back home. We arrived at Manali just before midnight. <laughs> Nice one, goats. Nice one. Woo! We are back. Finally, we made it. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 <laughs>